We're in tune, waiting for shooting, baby. We got Cotton 2, Cotton Boomerang versus. No, it's not really versus. Um, it's just gonna be like a comparing type video, a fun comparing type video. So don't expect me to point out every flaw or every difference in in between the games because uh, I number one, I don't want to do that. Number two, I don't think that's fun. And number three. It's not fun. So yeah, uh, I adore the Cotton series. Uh, it's absolutely amazing. It's colorful, it's bright, it's beautiful. I love it. Uh, this isn't really a review for Cotton Boomerang. It's more or less just comparing both, uh, seeing as you know there's a big price difference between both these games. Uh, either way, they're both amazing. Uh, this is just gonna be kind of a fun kind of uh, comparing video. So uh, don't get upset if I, you know, don't, you know, uh, explain everything as far as the differences goes. Look at that thing, bro. God, I mean, like, c come on, come on now. I'm not gonna say I have a crush on a fairy, but uh, <clears throat> I think I have a crush on a fairy. <laughs> but I just wanna, you know, talk about both games because I, I, I love them and adore them, and I think they're something unique and just fun and. I don't know, uh, there's something to this series that I absolutely love. Hit that like button, it helps me out always, and I appreciate everyone for always liking that, so thank you. Let's start the show. So one of the big first differences you'll notice is the menu screen. Look at this, this is Cotton 2, nothing really going on. Then look at this, boomerang. It's got kind of like an anime type feel to it. I love it. I love having cotton in the back there, just going through the darkness of the night. It's really cool and poetic, I love it. Next up, character selection. Oh yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> cotton 2 doesn't have character selection. Boomerang does. Boom. One point, boomerang. He tried me. I shoved his ass on the ground and he didn't do nothing at, at about the it. tree, right? Yeah, man, he tried me. For the sake of this video, on the left side, we're going to continue having Cotton 2, and on the right side, it's going to be boomerang. So after you're finishing selecting your characters in boomerang, the game starts. But what's this? Cotton 2 has these little cool anime, adorable, funny things that are amazing and should have been kept in boomerang. Yeah, look at this. I have no idea why they removed these. These are so good. I love these little clips in between stages. It's just so entertaining. And it got to the point that I was extremely looking forward to them. I love them. They're, they're good. Point, Cotton 2. The talking is dumb. We're ready to fight now. This is just, this is just bull all this. Just going back and forth. We're ready to fight now. It's primed. It's sold. Let's do it. Now when the gameplay comes in, this is when you'll notice the biggest differences between the titles. Cotton 2 has a health bar, Boomerang does not. And I really don't like this idea. Boomerang, you have three players because you had character selection. Every time your character gets hit, it switches because each character only has one hit. I felt like this slowed down the momentum of the game, but that's just my opinion. You do have these little bombs down here, they're called change. So you hit it, your little rainbow star goes off, you change characters without dying. I mean, depending if you have any of the change bombs to use, if you don't have any, then you can't change your characters. So Cotton 2 gets a booty. Or two. 
Another major thing removed from cotton to boomerang are the little element crystals that let you choose between the fire, wind, or ice. Instead, in boomerang, each character is assigned an element already. So you can't switch from fire to ice to wind to fire. It sucks. Cotton 2 gets a Geodude. Something to quick note, Boomerang, if you hold down the A button, you charge up your beam and fire it. Big Dragon. Yep. For that, I award Boomerang, Morgan. As far as the action goes, I give Boomerang the upper hand, but that's because it's designed that way. Where Cotton 2 is designed more in a slow and steady way. So here, I think they're both even. So it just comes down to your playstyle. Do you like it slower, or do you like it faster? So at the end of each stage, you get tea time. And oh my god. Oh man, this is this might be the, this might be the deciding factor right here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh man, uh So we can see on the left it's uh the right, it's that and uh All right, all jokes aside, I think both games are in equal stands. Both games are fun. Both games are amazing. They play different, so why not just get both? So, it's a tie. Both games are worth getting, both games are fun, both games are different. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's just something fun I wanted to do and show, you know, small differences. But both games are fun and worth getting. If you're new, hit that like button and subscribe. It helps me out. Thanks. Over and out. Peace.